Rogal Czar Origins Everything you need to know about this powerful alien warrior. Rogal Czar is what you get if you put Doomsday's brute strength and Lex Luthor or General Zod's intelligence. Superman has been one of the most popular comic book heroes for the past century. However, there are always some complaints about him being just too powerful or him not having any nemesis that are really on his level or have engaging storylines. This is where Rogal Czar comes in and raves the day. We know Batman has been around for around as long as Superman Man, but he always had better villains. Someone like Two-Face or Joker had a substantial backstory and interesting plot lines. Rogal Czar fits this role for Superman because of his story. This is a random unknown alien who just wants to kill all Kryptonians. Not just that, but the fact that he claims to be the one who actually destroyed Krypton is just outrageous. Without any more spoilers, let's dive right into it. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. Exploring the history and background of Rogal Czar. Rogal Czar is first mentioned in the Man of Steel issue number 1000. He appears as a villain to Superman, but unlike most, he seems to have a personal vendetta against him. The only thing we currently know about Rogal Czar is that he harbors a strong animosity toward Krypton and its inhabitants. Unknown as to what sparked that vengeance, an early flashback scene from Man of Steel reveals that Czar saw Krypton as a plague on the galaxy that needed to be removed by any means possible. The flashback revealed that Czar had previously joined forces with the Galactic Circle, an organization of strong aliens and gods that aids in upholding cosmic order. Czar begged the Council to allow him to obliterate Krypton. They refused, and so he appears to take things into his own hands. If Czar is to be trusted, he was the one who set off the explosion that wiped out Krypton and made Superman and Supergirl the last of their kind to survive. He declares to have eradicated the Kryptonian plague from the galaxy. And as Man of Steel number 5's finale demonstrates, he's prepared to obliterate Earth in order to complete the task he began in Krypton. It's been implied that Rogal had something to do with Jor-El as well. It could be inferred that maybe Jor-El created Rogal Czar in the first place in order to destroy Krypton. The other thing we notice is that during the flashback scene, Rogal did not have any scars on his face or arms. This means that when he decided to destroy Krypton on his own, he must have made some type of sacrifice that disfigured his face. Before Krypton was destroyed, Rogal Czar was regarded as a revered warrior who had participated in numerous conflicts for the right causes. He reported directly to the Galactic Circle, a group of extraterrestrial leaders who collaborate to determine the galaxy's future. In the first issue of Man of Steel, he approaches his superiors and requests their approval to exterminate the inhabitants of Krypton before they pose a threat to other planets. Though he is eventually denied this opportunity, Krypton is destroyed regardless, and despite their fear, not everyone on the Circle is willing to turn a blind eye to what appears to be painfully obvious. The esteemed leader of 42 star systems, Lord Gandello, expresses his worries in the second issue. He demands explanation from Appa Ali Apsa of the Guardians of the Universe. He finds this to be far too handy. How is this even possible? Where was the Green Lantern Corps that were supposed to defend these people? Rogal Czar was currently where exactly? As of now, these questions remain unanswered. Gandello is warned by Appa Ali Apsa not to answer such questions since it is harmful. Notwithstanding Appa Ali Apsa's suspicions, after all, what do you think he'll do to you and your 42 star systems if you keep going with this line of inquiry? If Rogal Czar was behind the genus genocidal massacre of a whole race, the Garden tells us everything we want to know in one sentence. There is no hope of stopping this dangerous being, who has always been hazardous and now seems to be uninterested in what they have to say. It's borderline saying something like if Wolverine got the Phoenix Force and then went rogue. Of course, we've seen this before in both fiction and reality. Only when the individuals who impose rules and regulations, judgments and edicts have the authority to enforce them do they have any real meaning. People can only function if they listen. Rogal Czar received a rejection from the Galactic Circle, yet it appears that he nonetheless carried out his plan. Some of the most powerful entities in the cosmos are now left to crouch in fear and pray that the pointy object they have been using for so long has finally been destroyed. Without control, this amazing and terrifying power cannot be contained. The most terrible weapon of all is one who can no longer be directed to the adversary because he no longer pays attention to authority. The demise of the planet Krypton has always been viewed as a tragic outcome of a natural force in the more than 80 years of super 
excellent storytelling. There has never been a single cause for the demise of the planet, whether it has been an unstable core or a natural event. Brainiac isn't really to blame for the planet's destruction, he only decides not to save it, even in Superman the Animated Series when he has a close relationship with it. Rogel Czar becomes one of the DC Universe's most dangerous villains right away, if he is actually to blame for Krypton's demise. He committed an act from which there is no turning back, the eradication of an entire race. There is no doubt that this once respected, possibly even honorable warrior crossed a line from which there is no turning back. All the best baddies believe they are the star of their own story. There is no atonement in this, and his rage against Kryptonians and determination to see them killed will only intensify his hunt for Superman and his family. Why did he hate Kryptonians? There is no reason as to why exactly he hates the Kryptonians. All we really find out about his hatred is from the flashback scene when he is preaching to the Galactic Circle to eradicate the Kryptonian race. He provides a logical argument saying that the Kryptonians have based their entire economy on using and taking resources from other lesser planets and civilizations. They have exhausted the energy of their red sun and are looking beyond for more resources. Zar is of the opinion that the only way to prevent these lesser worlds from falling into turmoil and chaos is by ending Krypton as a whole. Also, through this interaction, we learned that Rogel Zar and the Galactic Circle have worked together in the past before. This could be a variety of things, ranging from planning and organizing together to acting as their hitman some of his memorable comic book story arcs. Before Krypton was destroyed, Rogal harbored hatred for Kryptonians. In order to discuss the Kryptonians, a rising problem, Superman met with a circle. He doesn't want to create a conflict, instead he wants to purge them, since, in Rogal's opinion, Kryptonians invade other planets and exterminate lower species. Even Krypton's instability led to its destruction. In the present, Rogal visits Earth because he knows there is still a Kryptonian alive, and it is Superman that he is after. He enters the Fortress of Solitude first and thoroughly destroys it. Superman and Supergirl arrive on the scene too late in the aftermath. Superman is pursuing the perpetrator of this act because he is enraged. Rogal defeats both Superman as well as Supergirl but escapes just in time before Hal Jordan shows up and saves the day. We find out that Rogal wants to go straight to the center of the Earth in order to destroy it, just like he had done with Krypton long ago. Finally, Superman locates him and lifts him into space. Rogal then gets thrown into the Phantom Zone using the help of Supergirl. However, this is not the end for him as he is still alive and quite capable of taking care of himself in the Phantom Zone. The Phantom Zone is a pocket dimension created by Kryptonians and has been used to banish many evils over the past centuries. Rogal Zar literally finds and defeats all of them. He calls them all out and makes them know the difference in their powers. Literally, all of the entities present in the Phantom Zone together cannot overpower Rogal Zar. He makes sure to tell them that he could have killed them all, but he chose not to. He wanted to bring them all together against a common enemy. Once Earth Prime has miraculously been transported into the Phantom Zone, Rogal Zar begins to amass his army. Even Superboy found it tough going against Rogal Zar. Rogal Zar, the destructor of Krypton, has carried his bloody war against all Kryptonians into the 31st century, and now Superboy, aka John Kent, is his target. Superboy battles Zar, and things don't seem good for John in Legion of Superheroes number 12 by Brian Michael Bendis, Ryan Suk, Wade Von Grawbadger, and Jordi Belair. Additionally, readers are taught the real history of the United Planets as they follow their conflict. During his tenure as editor of the Superman family, of comic books, Bendis created Zar. Zar was paradoxically created by Jor-El, Superman's father in the comics, and he vowed to wipe off every Kryptonian. On the first page of this issue, Zar's background is briefly explained. First destroyed Krypton, but after learning that one city, Kandor, had survived, he traveled to Earth and destroyed it as well. He got into a fight with Superman and Supergirl about this, and they locked him up in the Phantom Zone. Thought to be still there, he has somehow escaped and is on the hunt for new Krypton now that the 30th century has arrived. Sometime in the 30th century, long after Rogal Zar had been imprisoned in the Phantom Zone, Saturn Girl brings John Kent to New Krypton to cheer him up. However, this just makes things worse because somehow Zar shows up. Rogal Zar and John get into a heated battle where John tries to lure him away from New Krypton. At first, he succeeds, but then Zar quickly flips things over, grabs John by the ankle, and hurls him down towards New Krypton. This man literally used Superboy like a meteor to destroy the city. The interesting bit is that through this issue of the story, we find out that John was an integral part of founding the Legion of Superheroes as well as the United Planets.
What is Rogal Czar like? Rogal Czar is a rage-fueled warrior maniac. He hates Kryptonians with a zeal, so we know he's a xenophobe of sorts, but not necessarily a supremacist. He doesn't care about other lower beings in the sense that he won't go out of his way to destroy them. Then again, he is ready to obliterate anyone who stands in his way. His strength is on par with Doomsday, and he can take on both Superman and Supergirl at the same time. He is thinking like a villain, and while he only wants to kill every Kryptonian, he would not hesitate to destroy other planets if it helped him achieve his goal. Just how powerful is Rogol Czar? Which alien race Rogol Czar belongs to is unknown, but it's obvious that he has the strength to easily compete with Superman. Czar has some ridiculous speed, super strength, and invulnerability. In Action Comics' thousandth issue where he first appeared, and in Man of Steel number 5, where the two fought on the moon, he was able to defeat Superman. Czar also carries a combat axe that he can use to chop Superman and block energy shocks. This staff appears to collect and channel yellow solar energy in a manner similar to that of Kryptonian biology, as Superman discovers in issue number 4, which raises the possibility that Zar is not a native of Krypton. In the wake of Man of Steel, Kara will be taking his axe for herself as she searches for more data about this new threat according to what DC has disclosed about the future path of the monthly series Supergirl. In spite of all this, Zar is obviously not unbreakable. The villain now has trouble speaking clearly because it looks like he was severely disfigured after being exposed to the explosion that obliterated Krypton. Conclusion It's clear that the introduction of Rogol Czar was probably used to add intrigue and interest to the Superman title, not to say in the least that we don't appreciate it. Seeing Superman be overpowered by a manic alien with a genocidal bloodlust for Kryptonians is just insane. This character adds depth not just to Superman's story, but also to his character and personality. We see Superman has grown and has a greater capacity for thought now than he did in the past. Or perhaps that's just us getting really into the stories. Either way, this new retcon is yet to to be explored further and we look forward to seeing what Rogol Czar has in store for us. Thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next one. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.